Hello, Jeff Foster, Web Biz Ideas. This tutorial is on finding subject ideas from your keyword research. Now, the main goal is to find subject ideas to use in your content by using your keyword research. So, obviously, you're going to need to have your keyword research done, uh, but also another prerequisite uh, that you can find from our site is determine what sales pages you need to build. Uh, we'll be pulling um, some lessons we learned from there in this tutorial. Uh, so with that said, let's just get into that real briefly just to summarize what we learned. So uh, initially in our tutorial, right, we have our keyword research. Uh, and then in the tutorial about determining what sales pages uh, we want built, we took our keyword research and we reorganized it uh, into categories uh, and tabs in the bottom of our, our keyword research template. Um, and then from there, we reorganized each tab into the top was sales pages in green, and then the bottom, bottom was more subject ideas. And so for this tutorial, we're not going to use the sales uh, key page keywords, but we're going to use the subject idea keywords. So if you haven't done the step and your keyword research does not look like this, go back and watch that uh, tutorial. Uh, you can go from our website and uh, written tutorial and you'll find those links there uh, on determining what sales pages to build. And then so you have uh, this, this organized. So with that said, uh, going forward from there, what we're going to do is we're going to take those subject ideas, right? Again, a subject idea, construction, industry, arbitration, rules, uh, right? Someone's not looking to hire a company, right? Denver, Colorado, construction, arbitration services, that's a sales page. They're looking at the sales keyword. They're looking to hire someone. But these keywords are subject ideas, topic ideas, right? They're just informational, resourceful keywords that people are typing in. So what we're going to do is we're going to take those keywords and we're going to copy and paste them into Google, but we're going to add a search operating term. So again, if you don't know what a search operating term is, you can please click on this tutorial and you'll, you'll find a whole tutorial on that. But in short, it's going to help us narrow down the search results so we find just what we're looking for and not just a whole bunch of random information. So with that said, let me go over some examples uh, of how uh, you can do this. So let's say we're a kitchen remodeler and one of our uh, keywords is kitchen remodeling and so right through our keyword research that's what it would come up with but at the same time uh, when we separated our keywords uh, into con sales content and subject ideas most likely you know keywords like kitchen remodeling tips kitchen remodeling guide right would come up and so what we're doing uh, just like in the uh, the, the PowerPoint said, right, we're taking our keyword research, the subject ideas on the left hand side, and we're just adding one of these search operating terms. Like, for example, in title. And that's what we have here in title plus one of our keywords, kitchen remodeling, idea, kitchen remodeling guide. And now we have 4,000 results of pages that have guides of kitchen remodeling. So why are we so interested in guides? You know, you may say I'm trying to rank for services and I want to sell my services. Why am I so interested in this? Well, this is what people are searching for. This is what people want to find. People want to find uh, an information source for this. They want to find a trusted source and a lot of times they buy from people they trust. And so now we have all these guides that are written from our competitors. So if we're looking for content ideas, a lot of these keywords like guides and tips are fantastic because if we follow some of these, right, kitchen remodeling guide, that's what the uh, search operating term in title is looking for. We're looking for kitchen remodeling guide in the page title. Um, right, so kitchen remodeling guide in the page title. So we're basically very pinpointed on kitchen remodeling guides. And now we're not just looking for anything, but home, wow, look at all this, this information on guides to kitchen remodeling. So if it's our job to find content ideas or subject ideas, and I need to write blog posts, I need to produce articles, or I need videos created, but I just don't know what to write about, well, hey, here it is, right? Here's a guide someone else wrote. A guy, you know, to basic kitchen uh, kitchen appliances. Maybe I can talk about appliances. Oh, cost saving kitchen upgrades. Uh, do it yourself tile repair. Maybe I can talk about tile repair, but about doing it yourself. You know, efficient kitchens, right? What is an efficient kitchen? Oh, I'm going to go green, right? And so that's what we're looking to do. A very, very, very easy, but what we want is we want to copy all this information. These are great titles, and then we're going to add it uh, to our content inventory document. So here's that content inventory document as part of our on-page optimization inventory template. This is featured in many of our tutorials on our site, right? It's a, a document. 
100% for keeping organized. So when you run across great subject ideas, that's what we're looking for, content ideas, subject ideas, blog ideas, right? This is a fan fantastic one. So we're going to copy it. We're going to add it into right our our content inventory document, right? We even have examples. Um, so we might even, you know, link to some of these examples. We might go to this page, copy that URL, and link to it. And so we can say, you know, hey, whoever's developing this content, here's, here's a place that you can start, you know, when you're developing your own content for this on the same subject. So that's how we use basic search operator terms like this to do that. Now, uh, in our written tutorial uh, on the site, uh, as well as um, in our other tutorials on search operating terms, uh, there's many other ones. Uh, so one of them is file type PDF. So let me just show you that one. So what file type PDF is going to allow you to do is find results that are just coming up with PDF documents on a keyword. So for example, same thing, we have in title, right, looking for the keyword kitchen remodeling in the page title, but now we're only looking for PDF documents. Why are we doing that? Well, if someone goes through the effort of creating a PDF document, usually it's pretty good information. And so another example of what we're going to find are things like this, kitchen remodeling. Uh, it's a PDF document uh, put out by uh, Daily City California. But it's, it's a really interesting one. It has a lot of great information about really permits uh, in California. And so, again, we're not, let's say we're not even in California. We're, we're, we're in New York. But how can we use this information to find content ideas? Right? It's about our keyword, kitchen remodeling. That's our, our keyword. You know, we want to rank in New York for kitchen remodeling. But we're looking for content ideas. For example, permits are required when. You know, that would be a fantastic, um, you know, article to write for yourself, perhaps in, you know, New York. When are permits required? Are permits required when you're, you're altering walls in New York? Are, you know, permits required when you're doing sheetrock, when you're doing flooring, when you're doing windows, when you're doing skylights, right? We could write an entire article about basically when permits are needed in our city or state. Uh, same thing about, you know, as, as we're reading more on here, um, you know, elect electrical codes. What are the electrical codes in New York? Hey, here are plans. Pla plans must be submitted for re re review prior to obtaining a permit for kitchen remodeling. Right? So you might say, well, what plans, you know, do, do we need to submit in, in New York? When is that? Where is there a form to do that? Where, where can I find more information? Right? So the whole point is you're, you have to actually read the document. But if someone goes through the effort of, of creating a PDF document on kitchen remodeling, there's only 1,800 people that have done that. Uh, I know for a big keyword like you know kitchen remodeling, that's pretty low. So we want to find out why they're producing this information because chances are it's pretty quality information and we can reproduce it. We can find content ideas and so now we put it into our content inventory document. You know, and keep in mind, you know, uh, watching our other tutorials like repurposing content, it doesn't need to be just another blog post, right? We don't need to copy this and say, oh, I'm going to create another PDF document. Hey, it could be a whole video on permit when permits are required. It could be a whole, you know, web page, you know, dedicated to, you know, PDFs, images, uh, infographic, you know, whatever it is on this topic. And we can get created, creative. So the whole point is we just want to add it to our content inventory document and then we can figure it out, right? That's why we have content types. Types. What type of content is it going to be? And we can go through and we can figure that out at a later time. And so just to give you an example of um, the subject ideas or content ideas that we're going to come away with with doing this would be uh, this example here. Um, what we're looking to do is not just have, right, this is just a blank template, first of all, and it has, you know, categories and subcategories, um, but we want to get very specific in our subject ideas. Again, when we found a subject ideas, right, the efficiency uh, in kitchens, we're copying this whole thing. And, and what we want to do is the same thing, and then we want to categorize it into our, in our content inventory document. Um, you know, for example, let's find a good example here. For example, understanding Colorado's statutory notice of claims process, or construction claims management. Here are, you know, the perf uh, perfecting mechanism, uh, mechanics, lien rights. Here are all questions that we found on liens, you know, in Colorado. 
Uh, it doesn't need to be necessarily in Colorado, but we found it every other place, and now we're going to reproduce it in Colorado for our lawyer there. And so these are all questions, right, that perhaps were found uh, when, you know, looking through PDF documents. Or these were all, you know, articles that we found. And so now we just reorganized it also so we can create an entire resource, perhaps, section on liens. Um, and so that's the case when we're doing all this. For example, construction claims in Colorado. You know, what is happening in Colorado construction law? Again, all these different things that we found online. Uh, here's the claims process. Here's the alternative damage calculation methods, right? And then, so when you're creating your content inventory document, don't just randomly put it in there, uh, but try to organize it into subjects, into subcategories, and, and keep going down the list. And this is what you want. You want very detailed subject ideas. So when you come back through, right, you actually have something that you can use. Should commercial general liability policies pay for construction defect claims, right? We don't just want construction defect claims. This is a great article. This is a great subject. We could interview someone on this. We could do research on it. We could produce it. Uh, it's a great content idea that we can produce at a later time. So that's what we're looking for. This end result here will be in our template, right, in our content inventory documents, uh, so then we can produce this at a later time. And again, all this came from keyword research. So, you know, follow the, the, those really basic steps that I just showed you, and you'll have good success doing that. Uh, but going on to one other uh, way that you can use your keyword research to find subject ideas is using Google Books. Now, Google Books allows you to really search books online. So, for example, if we typed in the same search operating term entitled Kitchen Remodeling, uh, and notice what I select. So I'm in Google Books. I've selected Preview Available. So Preview Available now allows me to actually see the contents of the books. Right, so here it is, kitchen remodeling for dummies. Here's the book, but a preview. I look, I can see what's in the book, and as you're going through here, you're like, wait a minute, what is this? Right, the contents of the book. Hey, these look like subject ideas, pouring over choices for sinks and faucets. Hey, you know, here's a great subject idea: selecting the best sink material for your needs, choosing the right sink design for your space. Right? These are all great content ideas. Maybe it's your your job not even to write this. Maybe as a business owner you don't want to write this, but maybe as a business owner you want to be in control of what is being produced, and maybe you're an expert in this. And so this is just a great way to find ideas and organize your content. And so we're not talking about copying. We're not talking about plagiarizing. We don't want you to copy all this, but we want you to put it into your content inventory documents, reorganize it, and then from there you can figure out what you want to do with it. Again, when you decide to write the content, maybe you just copy this, you know, subject idea and, you know, start googling this, right, and doing your own research on, you know, recent recent legislation and find more research on it. And maybe you can find out different ideas on how to repurpose it. So, you know, if you find a whole book on this, we're not saying to copy it. We're just saying, hey, that's a good idea. Maybe I could produce something very similar. I'm talking about selecting the best sync materials for your needs. Maybe a fantastic infographic of the top 20, you know, materials, and then it lists out the, you know, the basic materials for that. You maybe list out where you can buy it, the pros, the cons, right? Maybe we can do something like that. Um, so again, they're just ideas, subject ideas to get something started. Because you know, this is fantastic. Hey, if we're looking to schedule an entire year of blog posts, articles, resource centers, this is a lot, you know, better than just some general keyword research. I'm looking to, you know, rank for kitchen remodeling. Right now, we have something that you can actually produce. So use Google Books uh, to find these subject ideas. Now. Uh, I want to go over a few tips. So that's really our tutorial, by the way. Uh, it's very, very easy. It's taking your keyword research, just to summarize, and throwing search operator terms into to Google, and then it's reviewing different websites and really uh, at first copying what they have to get your own ideas. And we're going to want to do that for all different search operator terms. So please see our tutorial on that to find more ideas. And then also you can do the same thing with Google Books. Search operating terms, find subject ideas using your keyword research, and it's a never ending process. You just plug in all your keywords and you keep updating until you have enough content ideas, you know, for a certain period of time. So let me just go over some tips though. So when you're doing your uh you know, typing in search operator terms, you know, your keyword research might not be that big. Maybe it's only five words, ten words, twenty words. Um and you kind of keep finding the same information and you're not getting enough. 
So one tip when you're doing this is to again read the page titles on the page. These are page titles. And so as you're going through, you know, you keep seeing the same words, pictures, ideas, pictures, right? Design, ideas. Uh, what else are we seeing, right? Uh, how to remodel. Hey, design, ideas, pictures, do it yourself, design, right? You keep seeing the same keywords over and over. What you want to do is almost add that to your keyword research. So instead of just doing kitchen remodeling, well, we might, you know, now say, you know, kitchen remodeling ideas. And now we can go our, our search deeper. And now we could even do that the same thing, uh, right? You know, what, what, what happened? We typed in ideas, 2012 picture ideas, small budget ideas, before and after ideas. Hey, maybe I can create a before and after video or article. Small kitchens, maybe I can go just on small kitchens on a budget, right? These are all different ways that we can take one keyword and make it into many, many more, even if our keyword research has not shown that. So that's tip number one. Um, tip number two, uh, we can use something called Google Alerts uh, to get email alerts basically every time a keyword is mentioned. Uh, so for example, if we want to type in kitchen, again, remodeling ideas, put quotes around it so it's every time just that's mentioned, hey, right, Google says five times today a new article has been published on that topic. Kitchen remodeling ideas variations, uh, you know, spark multi-room model, remodels, and so what Google's going to do is going to send you an email similar to this. This one is on uh, used heavy equipment. This is just an older example. And now they say, hey, from our news results, from our web results, from our blog results, right, this is what people have been publishing for today. Some comes from Facebook. Some comes from websites. And so, again, if you want to track certain keywords and your competitors are coming up with certain keywords, this is a great way to do it. And that way you can stay on top of something. Because, you know, let's say something comes up with kitchen remodeling, there's a new, you know, whatever out that helps you remodel, you know, more, you know, better, you want to be able to stay on top of those trends. And Google Alerts will do that. Basically, they're going to alert you with subject ideas or content ideas on your keyword research. Now, another tip using Google Alerts, too, is if you find a competitor that you really like, you know, like it's, let's say you're a bankruptcy lawyer and you want to track every time total bankruptcy is, you know, putting out content, you can put a search, uh, you can put a the search operating term site colon and then your, 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 your competitor's website in here. And now anytime they publish information or anytime that, that, uh, that site uh, they publish information from their site, you're going to be notified. So you can really do this with anything, right? Maybe like CNBC might be a better uh, idea uh, to, to monitor, you know, something large like that as well. Um, so going on, the next tip is on a, a site called Topsy. And uh, what Topsy allows you to do is basically search Google Plus as well as Twitter for ideas. Again, kitchen remodeling ideas. Now it tells you different topics that people have you know been tweeting about uh, Google plusing about maybe it's a link maybe it's an article they wrote maybe it's just an update or comment whatever it is now you know they have ideas again for this hey we, we just saw this in Google remember kitchen remodeling ideas spark multi-room models that was part of uh, Google alerts right there so right Google alerts caught it and so did Topsy so right, we're looking for very, very relevant information that was recently published. And what's great about Topsy is they organize it by you know comments and how popular it is first. Again, same idea. We can also type in our competitors, you know, Tide.com, and now I'm going to start tracking basically uh, that as well. So content they produce, um, or you know, times that their their site is mentioned. Um, so really, that's uh, the 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 tip. Again, another tip in a written tutorial, just stay organized, right? Uh, your content inventory document, make sure it's filled out. Otherwise, you're never going to keep track of all these ideas. Um, so if you have questions on how to uh, do this tutorial, and if your you know, subject ideas or content ideas don't look as organized as this, and you're, you're struggling to do that, come to our website. Uh, we'll be more than happy to answer your questions in our Q&A.